God bless you, loved ones. Welcome to the Word with Chester. Today we'll begin study in the seventh chapter of the book of Revelation. Thank God for all of you that are logging on and watching this ministry. Thank God for you that joined in in the book of Revelation. It is an interesting book, and God has given us an insight on this book, and I appreciate you for listening. Before we start our study today, I want to, to make you fully aware that we're doing all that we can so that you can communicate with me and communicate with this ministry and ask your questions of or uh, uh, whatever God puts on your heart, a leave a prayer request, uh, you can leave it at this number. This is a brand new entity of this ministry. Uh, we have a, a phone uh, center set up now that you can call 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and uh, uh, they will talk to you. You'll be talking to a live person, uh, and they will direct your call in the way it needs to go. Uh, that's 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. That particular toll-free number uh, is one 866 276 0211. That will get you in touch with this ministry. And uh, like I said, you can leave your prayer request. You can uh, ask a question on our subject matter or ask a question about this, this ministry in general, and we will respond to you. Remember, that's 24 hours a day you can get in touch with this ministry. I want you to know I love you, and I'm doing all I can to minister the Word of God to you. Well, shall we begin our study day today in verse 1, chapter 6? Seven of the book of Revelation. The Bible reads, After these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Well, I want you to get this complete picture now. John is giving you a, a heavenly view of what's going to happen on this earth, and it's important for you to note a few things. Now, remember, uh, uh, in our last session, we were uh, talking about the opening of the seals. And uh, uh, there was actually seven seals. Until now, only six of the seals have been opened. And we will read uh, uh, when we start uh, into chapter 8 in our next session uh, about the opening of that seventh seal. But here we're saying, uh, uh, the writer is saying, after these things, after the sixth seal has been opened, uh, and that discourse has been uh, opened uh, or revealed unto John, uh, after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, uh, holding the four winds of the earth, uh, that the wind should not blow on the earth, uh, nor on the sea, uh, nor on any tree. Uh, well, uh, holding the winds, and this is letting you know this has got to be uh, the hand of God, because none of, the, none of us can hold the wind. We don't have a pop, the power over the elements, but all God has to do is speak a word, and the winds will obey him. Uh, the elements will obey him and the four winds of the earth uh, uh, you have to understand uh, whichever direction the wind would blow sometimes it blows to the to the north sometimes to the south sometimes to the east sometimes to the west but this angel uh, is standing there uh, and uh, uh, that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on any tree and that means any direction the wind would not blow and I want you to know that will have effect on the on the situation. Many of the things that uh, uh, that go on and happen in this earth, uh, he's holding the winds, and that is including uh, pollinization and, and many other things that happens when the wind blow. Uh, in verse two, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, uh, having the seal of the living God, uh, and he cried with a loud voice with a loud voice uh, to the four angels uh, to whom it was given to hurt the earth uh, and the sea. Uh, he cried to those that were given uh, the, the uh, uh, authority or was given to whom it was uh, to hurt the earth uh, and the sea, saying in verse 3, saying, hurt not the earth, uh, don't hurt the earth, uh, neither the sea uh, nor the trees, uh, till, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Now wait a minute, he's commanding to hurt not the earth. Don't hurt the earth or the, uh, or the, uh, the neither the sea nor the trees until we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I want you to get this now. Get this. 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna run through it briefly. I want you to hear me. When he is saying hurt not the earth, uh, it's for a reason. You have to understand. Uh, uh, what do we get uh, the earth? What do we get uh, uh, our, much of our food from? Uh, our vegetation. All of these things uh, uh, come from hurting not the earth. Now, now uh, this does not conflict to uh, uh, when uh, the seal was opened for uh, when all of the things happened to the earth. Uh, many things are happening or will happen to the earth uh, that will hurt uh, uh, hurt many things, uh, uh, destroy structures and destroy uh, uh, peoples. Many lives will be taken uh, uh, prior to this, uh, but this is a commandment to hurt not the earth. Uh, and uh, 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 let me read it again for you. A loud voice uh, uh, to uh, uh, he cried with a loud voice to the four angels uh, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their their foreheads. Uh, now, this particular section, he's saying, Hurt not the earth. Uh, but then as we continue reading, uh, and you stay with us, you're going to find that the earth and the things are going to be affected, uh, even in these same beings, uh, or the same things, Things, uh, uh, talking about the soil, the earth, the uh, uh, the vegetation in the sea, uh, uh, the the uh, uh, the life in the sea, and also the trees. Uh, well, let's dissect them. Uh, hurt not the earth. We get much of our food from the earth. We grow uh, uh, many things. Many things grow in the wild. Uh, and I will also let you know. Back in during this time, uh, 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 a lot of things will be grown in the wild because the structure of things will be disrupted uh, to the point that. Uh, 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 the farming industry and all of these things will be affected, uh, but the earth will still grow plants. The earth will still grow a uh, food supply. Some of it will be there naturally. Some of it would be there, and also because of the, the, the labor of man's hand. Uh, well, what about the sea? We get much food from the sea. All of our seafood products, fish, and, and uh, 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 all of the things that we eat from the sea, uh, many things uh, come from the sea. He said, hurt not these things. Uh, nor the trees. Uh, we get a lot of things from trees. We get fruit from trees. Uh, uh, and uh, that will, that's part of the food supply. Not only do we get fruit from trees, uh, we get oxygen from trees. Uh, you know uh, what the, uh, the, the structure thing, if you've been to uh, school and educated in, in what I'm talking about, they taught me this way back in, in grade school, I believe, uh, uh, that the, that the uh, uh, we breathed out carbon dioxide and uh, uh, the trees breathed in carbon dioxide and exited or uh, breathed out oxygen. Just the opposite of us. We breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide and they breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. Can you see the structure of things? Uh, the things of, 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 uh, of, uh, of sustaining us. Uh, God has put in motion uh, and uh, uh, he's saying don't hurt that now. We have some things to do. So Keep these things in mind as we, we study. Verse 3 again, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till, till we have sealed the servants of God in their foreheads. Now let's read on in verse 4. And I heard, a, I heard the number of them which were sealed, and they were sealed 144,000 uh, of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Now get these, get this now. Don't get in your mind, it's only, it's only going to be 144,000 thousand people in heaven. That's the wrong uh, the wrong way of looking at things. Uh, but these are uh, 104, uh, 44,000 of the tribes of the children of Israel. Uh, get who they are, uh, the tribes of the children of Israel. Uh, well, sh let's read, uh, read verse 5. Uh, and uh, the tribe of the Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribes of Reuben were, were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher uh, were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Naphtali was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon uh, were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi, Levi were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of es Issachar was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulun uh, was sealed 12,000. Uh, of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Thousand. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. Can you understand? These 12, uh, uh, 12 tribes, uh, 12,000 in each, 12 times 12 is uh, 
144,000. So these are Jews. These are the Israelite people that's going to be saved even during the tribulation period. You, 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 say, uh, uh, you say, well, uh, the Jews only? No, 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 no. We're not getting you there. But this writer and, and the Lord has him make the difference uh, because you understand that the Jewish folks, they had turned a deaf ear to Christ for many years, but many of them are going to come to Christ. And whether you know it or not, many of them have come to Christ already. Uh, well, well uh, in this section of scripture, this writer is showing you these 12,000 of each, of each of the tribes. Uh, God has always had his hand on the, on the, uh, on the Israelite people, uh, and don't you try to fight that. Just say, thank God for it. Uh, well, number one, 12,000 out of each tribe uh, were, were, were coming, and we're going we're gonna to read more, and we're going to find out who they were and where they come from uh, uh, as we continue reading. Uh, in verse 9, and after this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindred uh, and people and tongues, stood before the throne uh, and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes uh, and palms in their hands, uh, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, uh, who sitteth upon the throne, uh, and uh, unto the Lamb. Uh, can you see another great time of worship? Uh, the, the 144,000 Jews, uh, and then we see this uh, 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 a multitude that no man could number, uh, coming out of every nation and every kindred. Uh, all of these, uh, all of these that accepted our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Well, we couldn't even number the number. Do I need to read that again? Verse 9, and after this I beheld a great number which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people uh, and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, uh, clothed with white robes and palms in their hand uh, and, and cried with a loud voice saying, Salvation to our God who sitteth upon the throne uh, and to the Lamb. Can you see this great time of worship here? Worshiping our God and worshiping the Lamb of God, uh, which is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, shall we read verse 11? Uh, and all the angels stood around about the throne uh, and about the elders and the four living creatures uh, and fell before the throne on their faces and worship God. A great time of worship here. Verse 12 saying, uh, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving uh, and honor and power and might unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Uh, well, uh, uh, can you understand this great time of worship? The entire heavenly host and all of these that we just talked about, 144,000 Jews and a number that no man can number out of every nation uh, worshiping God all at the same time. What a glorious uh, thing that will be. Verse 13, uh, And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, uh, Who are these who are arrayed in white robes? Uh, and from where did they come? Uh, can you understand? We're going to get an answer. Uh, he said now, One of the elders answered and said unto me, John uh, said unto me, Who are these uh, who are arrayed in white robes. Well, they were asking John that. You can say uh, that we got a term for that, and I'm trying to bring it to it. Uh, he was asking a question. Uh, he already knew, but he wanted to see if you know the question. Uh, so he asked a question unto John. Uh, who are these that are who are arrayed in the white robes, and from where did they come? Uh, verse 14, and I said unto them, John said, Sir, do you know? Thou knowest. And he said unto me, These are they who came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. These are they that came out of tribulation. Can you understand all of the things that happened in the prior verses? The opening up of the seals when uh, the earth was shook and the stars fell and the sun became dark. Can you understand? That causes a great tribulation. Uh, and I, we're going to read further about the tribulation. Don't think that all is over here. But then these are they that came out of tribulation. Uh, uh, well, and they worship, they worship, they worship uh, uh, because they had been washed uh, in, uh, they washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Uh, they, they received uh, this great salvation. Uh, verse 15, uh, where, therefore are uh, they before before the throne and serve him day and night and in his temple uh, and he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell 
among them. Uh, they shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, uh, nor any heat. They don't even have to worry about getting too hot. Uh, verse 17, for the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne uh, shall feed them uh, and shall lead them unto living fountains of water uh, and shall wipe away uh, all tears from their eyes. Uh, can you see the gloriousness uh, of this reunion here? Uh, when, when the 144,000 Jews uh, and all of the Gentiles that, that, uh, that accepted Christ uh, came out of this great tribulation, uh, a number that no man could number. Uh, what a great time of worship, uh, a great time of thanking our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ uh, about worshiping the God of our salvation. Uh, can you understand what's going on in this? This section of scripture, uh, I encourage you, you need to be with us as we go through uh, the rest of the Bible. Uh, this is a glorious time uh, when uh, all of these came out of tribulation. Uh, they came out of it. Uh, well, they had to go through some trouble. Uh, and uh, uh, we have one part that, that teaches that this is the, the, the church in its, its entirety had to go through the tribulation. Uh, and we have another one that teaches that the church is raptured away. Uh, 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 some of the church are uh, 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 the one, the saints that one have really accepted our Lord or raptured away uh, before the, uh, the great tribulation. Uh, either way, uh, this is going to be a great time of worship. Uh, when all of these that came out of tribulation uh, worship their God, our God, worship our God, uh, and the Lamb uh, who was slain from the foundation of the world. Uh, I want you to know, I'll read 17 again. Uh, For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne shall feed them. Can you understand? They don't have to worry about going to work a uh, uh, nine to five to eat. Uh, they don't have to worry about toiling and tilling the soil to eat. Uh, the lamb who is in the midst of the throne shall feed them uh, and shall lead them unto living water, uh, living fountains of water. Uh, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Uh, all of the things and all the trouble that they had went through, uh, their tears will be wiped away. Uh, it's going to be so good there. Uh, standing before our God, uh, he's taking care of all of our our needs. Uh, he's being uh, the, the true and the living blesser uh, that will bless his people uh, not to even have to cry anymore. Uh, even the sadness that we once had, uh, that will all be taken away. Uh, oh, what a time to worship. Uh, what a time to to praise uh, the name of our God. Uh, well, I want you to know, my friends, uh, I love you with the love of the Lord. Uh, if you would like to contact us, us for any reason, uh, you can write me at the Word with Chester Ministries, uh, Post Office Box 200483, uh, San Antonio, Texas, uh, 78220. Uh, you can also reach me at my website, uh, www.poemsbychester.com. Uh, now you can reach me at our toll-free phone number, one 866 Two seven six zero two eleven. Let me also announce that I will be in Bakersfield, California, on the 29th of this month, the 29th of June. Uh, I'll be at the Fox Theater, two zero zero one H Street. Bakersfield, California. There will be two shows, one at 2 p.m. and the other at 7.30 p.m. If you would like to call somebody and ask questions, get direction, or, or uh, whatever you need to do, you can reach them in Bakersfield at 661 or anywhere in the country, 661 uh, 324 1369. Uh, there will also be a theatrical performance, uh, a great performance by Tracy Scott Wilson. Uh, you need to be there. You will be blessed. Uh, I want you to know I love you, my friends. Uh, I love you with the love of the Lord. Uh, God bless you.